what's up my friend what's up my people this is Jay again today guys we're going to trade this pair code card jpy or cad jpy or canadian dollars against japanese currencies so we're going to take this trade because one hour time frame and four hours time frame are in buying position always when we have this below when the market is playing below this and has turned you can see clearly that there is this like uh, already uh, line into this area when it goes out of this space it's that uh, showing white area between you know that it is time to buy when it's still going when it's still under this line is still a uh, called a strong bullish so from there we're going to buy this pair uh because i even checked it from from uh 15 minute time frame and it gives me all of the confirmations that I wanted. A special chart gives me a bullish piercing, which is strongest pattern that happens, shows up when it is time to buy. Mostly it doesn't uh, disappoint me. So guys, um, as you can see <clears throat> here in a 15 minute time frame, it it should be selling she's selling from there to this line so instead of breaking this line it's just uh change the direction up and what happened let's check from 30 minute time frame it happens because 15 minute time frame doesn't control itself 15 minute time frame is always under control of 30 minute time frame that's why uh, for example when we find uh let me say uh four hours time frame is selling and one hour time frame is selling also and then 30 minute time frame is also selling but when you come to 15 minute time frame is buying all right i don't know this is always happening to you and some of you are getting confused when, when things are like this. So let me tell you the secret. When it is like this, four hours time frame is selling, one hour is selling, 10 minutes is selling, and then 15 minutes, it happens from nowhere that it is buying. What will be happening? It's just pullback of 30 minutes. Let's say market has been doing this. This is an example. It's been doing this, right? So now, instead of finding this, uh, this is not clear visible. Let me do this. And do this. This is enough. All right. So now, <clears throat> Four hours been saying that means been saying now you comes back to see to find out that this is a 15 minute that is in a bullish and then you think it is time to sell guys this is not said is fake selling I mean buy is fake buying because it's, it's just a pullback uh somewhere somehow you must check this level check this level and monitor 15 minutes time frame when it reaches here it must also go back down and follow up what 30 minutes one hour and four hour time frame says so don't fall into this trap when it is like this just wait for it is time to create resistance and then enter to sell so which is what is happening here 30 minutes time frame you can see where it is obviously still buying but when it goes to 15 minute time frame it looks like it's selling as long as especially is still above of this line so clearly this is sell from 15 minutes but this is the fake sell because when it reaches them down here it will just change direction just go to 10 minute time frame we will find out that the 
this line has been broken which is a zero level has been broken and market is above of it it means this is strong buy from 10 minute time frame when you go to four to one hour time frame you will realize that one hour time frame is almost almost on this level and here you can see when market shows uh, this gap you can see between here there is a white area you must know that this indicates a buy so now since 30 minutes was buying and it gets this from one hour time frame because 30 minutes is under control of one hour time frame so 10 minutes doesn't control one hour time frame one hour time frame controls 30 minutes that's why if we check to four hours time frame we can see different things here right we can see different things here but what we did we took a sale according one hour and 30 minute time frame that's why we we are able and we are ready to collect um, these pips so guys i think um from here we have to pause this video for a few minutes and then we come back to check what is happening um i just explained a, a, a few things from this area but i didn't just tell you there's anything about here so for you guys who want to um to trade and hold your trades you can see we have this uh blue line we have this black dot if you zoom in you will realize that there are dots it is too much dot too many dots so now what are we going to do i'm gonna show you what we did because i got uh uh, uh the video that i uploaded previously was showing you how to set up this we did set up parabolic which is yellow i mean which is black dot lines that we see there when you zoom in it shows lines but when you zoom out is dot it shows dots here they are they are dots right which is parabolic s a r so now we have this moving average which is a hundred moving average is this blue line you see here this 100 moving average that's what you see there so now we have macd down there which is where we were talking about so we're going to talk about this area now this area when you see is and for example here we're using 10 minute time frame you have too many confirmations when this uh parabolic goes always above uh, 100 moving averages you must understand that this is bearish we are selling we are in selling time we have to sell all right so when you see is, um, this parabolic uh, moving under 100 moving average which is this blue it's going under under of 100 moving average now we must understand that this is buying time so the question is how does this um strategy change direction all right changing direction of this uh, strategy is easy as you can see from here always when um chat is moving is moving below this uh, parabolic and moving averages when it comes the time to change the direction it will immediately start creating a parabolic dot here down here the dots that i told you about it looks like a line because we, we we didn't zoom it out but when market is going to change the direction it will start creating a break dot from below it was creating them from above now because uh market is changing direction it will start creating these dots from below of market of moving average 100 and below of 
uh, the previous uh, parabolics. So now what you do to take a buy, we're talking about 15 minutes and 30 minutes and above. What do you do when it starts, it starts to create this? You will just check here if moving verge 100 has already touched this chart or has jumped is now started going forward below uh, the chart. The second thing is it will stop parabolic from going down. From there, it will stop. You will no longer see it this side. You will only see it from this side. So now, since this has crossed below the market chart and uh, parabolic has been started drawing down here, this um, break dot, that second sign to show you that the market is changing direction. The last thing we check is MACD down here. Um, let me let me tell you. Let me show you this. Um, you see, if you zoom in, you will realize that market has been creating uh, this line. All right, I've zoomed in. It's been creating longer lines. So when now this uh, uh, red line started going below you see was moving between now when start going below and give you a white gap between this line and the and the red line you will start understanding that this is the confirmation that uh, market is changing direction now instead of creating long, longer lines it will start creating short and the more market goes on more this line will become shorter, shorter, and shorter. That's how you will understand that the market is changing direction. So I think guys, um, for you guys who trades with the bigger time frames, you have now idea of how, of how this strategy works. So now uh, we just jump on 30 minute time frame and see what 30 minute time frame shows us. It's still the same thing because market has started creating this. We should have taken this area, but I wasn't aware, I was busy with other things. So now our 100 moving average has been crossed over and our parabolic have, have stopped from uh, creating uh, this break dot this side and another thing is that an and MACD have been crossed below these lines and started creating shorter lines and the market went up so it means that we should have taken this from this area where break dot started created from and if you go to one hour time frame you will realize that the same thing happened the same thing happened, MACD has been just uh, going inside of this green uh, color. And here now it comes out, you can see when the uh, line goes up, there is white gap between this green area, this green area and this red line. This indicates that market has changed direction. We should have taken entries from here, area and buy because moving average has confirmed this and the parabolic have stopped from going down so from there by now we could have been made some cash but then we were not there we were busy with other things else so this is how this strategy works in bigger time frame from 15 minutes 10 minutes and one hour if you are praying into those time frames you'll be good to go. So now, uh, I will just try um, maybe tomorrow to record a video with a small account, the small account that I promised you will be using on one minute time frame and five minute time frame. We play from those two time frames and we we'll explain everything from there nothing else we will be talking about there is no other time frame we involved in maybe we can touch 
a little bit uh, from other time frames for just having a, a good ex explanation and understanding, but we will not be uh, trading with a bigger time frame. We'll be only trading with one minute time frame with a small account. We're not gonna trend, I mean, we're not gonna trade with a big account. That video will not be for you if you have more than 50 USD in your account. That video will be for us who will be trading with uh, 5 to 10, 15 and 25 dollars. So, guys, that's what we're going to do uh, tomorrow if you get a chance. But today, I'm going to stop this video from here. Um, as you can see, we have started to make our profits, and you can see that our our parabolic is still doing a wonderful. So we know that it's still gonna go up because one hour time frame. You can see where it is still, it's still here, and it is now on this level. It have to jump and go up. Means we're still gonna make. Uh, a good money today with this strategy. So, guys, um, if you have any question, just don't hesitate to reach me out. Just send me a message and tell me or ask me whatever. Um, if then you are the first, your first, is your first time to visit our channel, just don't hesitate to give us a thumb up. Just go and hit that subscribe button like and share so you can be one of uh, our family members who get notifications whenever we upload a new video and we appreciate that so you it's, it's a motivation anyway because we share knowledge uh for free we share knowledge for free so is it a big deal just to hit that red subscribe button and like and share if you can so guys I think I'm gonna stop from here now and wait for this uh uh wait for this trade to give me at least five hundred USD. So from there I can decide if I will close or if I will hold. So enjoy your day guys. This is the last day of the week. We will see each other Monday. Monday. Yo, uh, I was saying that I will record video tomorrow. I'm so sorry because tomorrow market will be closed. Tomorrow I will be um recording video for boom and crash as I I promised you you who trades and dices all of those things. Uh, I promise you to record a video explain A to Z how the indicators that you saw are working and other things who have indicators now i know you are struggling to uh, insert them but i promise you tomorrow i'm gonna record full video showing you how to insert that indicators yeah because i've been busy as i told you i've been up and down i didn't get a time i'm so sorry for being late to uh record video for that but i promise you tomorrow uh i will do that so you who trades currencies uh i made a mistake i said i will record video tomorrow but remember tomorrow video uh, market will be closed which means i will record video monday so get ready with your small accounts if you don't have one, create one, deposit $5 or $10, $15 to $20. Don't go above. Just stop from there. Uh, then Monday, we will learn how to trade with this strategy using the small account. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your day. I hope you will have a good weekend as well. Well, hey.